how selfish I am. And, uh, this is really bad. So somebody told me this was a good poem and they wanted to use it in their English class and I was like, oh, I have to read this every single time. <laughs> they love, they like me, they really like me. So here it comes, it's called To-Do List, which is self-explanatory. File bankruptcy, search for a more fulfilling job. Get my hair done. Shave my legs and appear human. <laughs> Feed the cats again. Apply for more student loans so I can get a degree in something useful like poetry, creative writing, or journalism. I will write prose with a flair and speak the truth to the masses and they will listen to my accredited opinion. <laughs> Watch my credit report online before someone steals my identity and gets declined. <laughs> I'm gonna plan that ultimate vacation to a foreign land where I will appreciate art for the first time. <laughs> Suddenly, I will become spiritually enlightened and I will fill the pockets of peasants and come home with fine leather goods and rich red wines for the ample dinner parties that I will throw with numerous friends who adore my company. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna lose that extra weight that inflates my chest, bubbles my stomach, and burdens my ideal dress size with stretch material. <laughs> I'm going to make that healthy dinner after a nice workout at the gym, differentiate, differentiating from the light meal and cardio I did the day before. <laughs> yes. I'm going to quit smoking, and I'm going to take my birth control regularly. I'm going to stop eating prescription pills like blue and pink sweet tarts. Right, we're losing a page. I'm going to go to church and sing a hymnal. I'm going to give to charity. And then I'm going to write letters home on Argyle Stationery and Teal Ink, declaring... I have finally found purpose. Okay, so this is totally a different genre. For those of you who know me, I come from uh, Venice, and I've got a lot of friends who, uh, who have addiction problems, and that would not include me ever. Um, but yes, so this is called, If We Only Had Groupies, We'd Be Set. He's at the Wilshire Royale, no heat, no air conditioning, but they got low rent, two twin beds, and a pool. You can watch the tourists rollerblade down the sunlit street, the would-be models, and the almost actresses in all their pretty girl sunglass phases. And he's taking a long shower, shooting dope while the water runs. He's wearing a, t -sh a shirt with a devil with emblem buttons. And he sits in a lounge chair, falling asleep under palm trees. He's California dreaming while all his leaves are turning brown. He is telling jokes, smoking into the glass until it turns a milky white while he gives his best the Nero face. There's probably a her I'd hate to meet, dripping around him, stretching her thin <laughs> arms, extending every inch of her self-hate that she has on the bed with junky patience, just waiting for her turn. I offered him a Greyhound ticket, but he asked me instead to wire the money. And then I knew, then, same as before, I'd lost again.